There's more blood down These there than water. These are going to be the death of me. There you are. I've been looking for Lothar. I suppose she can sense how close she is to him. Luckily for all of us, I've been busy. I know exactly what we need to do to get him out of Lothar's head and into the palm of her hand. Shall I continue? Well, the prognosis is very good. I know of a way we can find your demon's home plane, the place he stores the souls he steals. If we can find it, we can destroy it. Losa inhales sharply. I'll read that as excitement, gratitude, battle lust. It's just, this is it. This is everything I've wanted. Finally, a chance to, to have a chance. That's the idea, at least. But we need to move quickly. The faster we can get in and out of there, the less chance there will be that a drama leak realizes we're there. So, are you ready? Yes. Yes, definitely. I think. So, team, ready to roll? Malady takes Losa's hands and closes her eyes. Stay near me, all of you. You don't want to get lost where we're going. <laughs> You are suddenly heavy on your feet. The air here feels weighted with import and dread. All light within you feels suddenly dimmer. Here we are. Tread carefully, Losa. This place... it isn't safe. Losa looks at you nervously and smiles. I'm glad you're here. So, where should we start? That depends on what we find. We need to weaken your demon by freeing the souls he's trapped here. Exactly how he's storing them, and what that will mean for us, will be a surprise for both of us. The powerful ones do. Nothing they enjoy more than a private playground where no prying eyes can interfere with their fun. And before you ask, no, I don't have one. Even I have a modicum of decency. Deep, deep down. You can, but that would close the portal for good. It isn't nothing for me to bring us here. It takes a great sacrifice. Don't waste it. I believe so. But we won't let that happen. You can say that again. What's on your mind, darling? Garbage!
Not now. I need to focus on Losa. Trust me, you'll thank me. No wax pools at the candle's wick, though it grows brighter as you inspect it. A feeling comes over you. There's a soul within this flame, within the black wax that fuels it. Do you feel it, Losa? There's a soul within this candle. So, this is how your demon operates. He collects them here and feeds from them at his leisure. I feel it. It's the spirit of a woman. Prudence. The innkeeper in Driftwood. She made a deal with him, with a drama leak. And now she'll be trapped here, forever. If the demon is feeding from her, we need to snuff the candle out. This is how we'll weaken him. Snuff her out? But that's like... like killing her. If I do that, I'm no better than Andramalik. Oh, please. He destroys people for the love of it. If we must do this, it's to save the thousands he'd feed on in future. That isn't true. I don't care about them. I mean, I do. But the only person I really care about is me. She hesitates for a moment, then turns away from you. She reaches out and pinches the wick, snuffing out the fire. There. It's done. Let's... let's keep moving. Good idea. Look alive. There'll be more where this came from. won't do. Second verse, same as the first. The candles glow with the light of the spirits housed by each. They reach toward Losa, eager to be heard. You know what you must do, Losa. There is no other way. Two people. Two souls. Two souls just like me. You're right. I owe them that. I owe them at least that. She holds her hand to the flame and seems to go into a trance. Two souls. So different. Two souls bound together by the demon. One. A humble man. A father. The other, a, a killer. The first, he understands. He wants me to destroy Edramalik. He's willing to, to be destroyed himself. The second is full of anger, of fury. He doesn't want to be sent into the darkness. I have no choice. If I want to survive him, I... I have to be... like him. I have to do this, it's the only way. Losa reaches out and twists the candle's wicks. They smoke and die. You're getting the hang of this. Very good. Not done yet, Losa. The candles are still and lifeless, the souls within them gone forever. I wasn't expecting... this. The candles twinkle in the distance, each a life, each a soul. All these people, all 
these people, all these precious people. She stands silent, stock still. Maladi suddenly grabs Losa's arm. She speaks through gritted teeth. We must stop him. This cannot continue. We can't let it. We need to free them, snuff them out. If a drama leak can't draw on their power, we'll be able to face him and finish him. I... I... But they're all like me. Every last one of them. How can I... How can I... I know it isn't easy, but we need to end them. Yes, they will vanish. They won't go onto the hall. They'll simply cease to be. But if we don't do this, there will be no stopping a drama leak. The sea of candles will grow larger. He won't stop. There is no slaying the demon while this place remains. We need to act. I know this isn't easy, but I'll help. Just say the word, and I'll summon a flood large enough to end this, all of this, once and for all. Losa looks out over the sea of candles for a long while, saying nothing. It's so quiet here. I don't feel him at all. Here we are, before the evidence of all his disgusting deeds, and... My mind is clearer than it's been in a long time. It's funny, isn't it? How some pain is so big it just burns you clean from the inside out. It's almost like I could just step off the edge of this ledge and float away. There's nothing to me anymore. Nothing at all. The light from the candles dances in her dark eyes as she looks at you. Do I? She takes your hand and looks out over the Sea of Souls once more. She leans against you, letting you support the smallest bit of her weight. Sometimes I think my fate was written from the beginning. I was never going to manage it. When someone that powerful wants something from you, they just take it. That's what they do. Only an idiot pretends they won't. She stiffens and stands upright, running her fingers through her hair. She smiles. Smirks, really. I guess that makes me an idiot. Malady, let's do it. With pleasure. Ah, perfect. Ha! There, it's done. It's all done. All right, all right, that should do it. We need... We need to leave. Quickly. She pants and wipes her mouth. Blood smears across her sleeve. Losa is still and quiet, her eyes flashing grey, then black, then draining back to normal. A drama leak. He must be furious. We need to get out of here. Now. Hurry. There you have it, Losa. Do you feel it? How weak he's become. It's amazing. My heart feels more like my own than it has in... in too long now. I can almost start hoping I stand a fighting chance. You still need to face him. You still need to best him. But you can do it, especially with allies like this at your side. Of that, I have no doubt. None. I... I need to rest. You can do this. You are ready. You can finish this now and forever. I couldn't have done any of it without you, Mals. Losa wraps Malady in a huge hug. Malady grimaces and pats her back stiffly. Having extinguished the flames in the demon's home plane and killed innocents in the process, Losa looks to her party, eyebrows raised. All these souls lost, and there's still no guarantee we'll destroy the demon. What a waste. I had no choice. If I had left those souls alive, I, I stand no chance of defeating a drama leak. This is the only way forward. 
There was no question about it. You had to weaken that vile demon. Well done. That was... that was amazing! He's scared! I feel it! Oh my gods, I feel it! This is it! Freedom. I can hardly remember what it tastes like. She looks at you, smiles, and licks her lips. I bet it tastes like you. Now, if you'll excuse me, I have a demon to destroy. Sewers running as red as the street. Here lies some anonymous soul. Here lies some anonymous soul. Here lies some anonymous soul. This grave is unmarked. This grave is unmarked. Here lies some here lies some anonymous soul. This grave is unmarked. Here lies some anonymous soul. This grave is unmarked. Here lies some anonymous soul. Here lies some anonymous soul. G -g 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 Greetings! Have you come for miracle? Do you need fixing from the doctor, man? 
The doctor is in. Doctor is in. Doctor is in. He's in. He has the tricks, the gifts, the healing ways, the dealing ways, the d -d -d dark ways. <gasps> breathe, breathe, breathe. Breathe, breathe. The doctor is in. Doctor is in. Doctor is in. The doctor. He treats, cures, helps, haunts the sick, the ill, the needy, disease, hurting, sad, happy, healthy. His house, the Black House, the Doom Doctor Miracle House. It's fixed to the platform. I wonder why. It's stuck fast. It won't move. It's fixed to the platform. I wonder why. This grave is unmarked. This grave is unmarked. What? Here lies some anonymous soul. This grave is unmarked. Here lies this grave is unmarked. Here lies some anonymous soul. Here lies some anonymous soul. Too heavy.
The door does not open, but it feels alive. It feels like it's examining you, or at least one of you. The door is examining Losa. The door does not open. A creeping sensation comes over you, as if the door were examining you. Losa. The doctor will see you now. The nurse stares openly at you. His eyes are a pitiless black, like a hungry shark. You... you are... known. You are on the doctor's books. He awaits you. Go to him. The nurse hisses at you while you remain in earshot. Your flesh has such perfume. I am drunk on you. Losa, the doctor will see you now. The nurse throws you a sultry look, offset by a smear of blood around her mouth. Something shifts beneath her robes, the outline of a diminutive third arm. A mewling cry can be heard from her abdomen. She places a hand over it and winks. Food, baby. A spirit peers down at his own remains with morbid fascination. His ghostly form takes on a queasy shade of green. Well, it's, it's not often you get to see yourself in this state, is it? <laughs> he gestures to a small grey lump nestled within his open chest cavity. That's what did me in. Funny, <laughs> doesn't look like much. I was sick, and I wasn't going to get better. The doctor made me an offer. He'd pay me if he could study my body after I died. It was a lot of gold. <laughs> I couldn't say no. I'm providing more for my family in death than I ever did while I was alive. <laughs> Go figure. The nurse spots you, then abruptly averts his gaze with a scowl. Don't tempt me. The doctor will be displeased if I have my fun without asking. Go! The nurse slinks right up to you and inhales deeply, then exhales with a sigh. <sighs> you smell unclean. Would you like to be clean? She flicks her long, black tongue over cracked lips while staring unblinkingly. Her eyes reflect no light. They only consume.
The nurse rubs his hands together in glee at the sight of you. His palms are slick with some oily substance. Do you faint at the sight of blood? He leans in and whispers, his voice hoarse with a desperate longing. Would you like to? Ah, how good of you to come. And you've brought my favorite person in the entire world. How are you, Nosa, dear? It's odd seeing you here among my things, my practice. Usually it's me who visits you. He stumbles and coughs, then regains his composure. His eyes narrow malevolently. I understand you've been very, very, very busy. You're welcome in my home in this plane, Losa. But I don't remember inviting you to my little hideaway among the stars. Who do you think you are? I have to say, Adrama Leek, you don't look too good. He winces and recoils, then quickly regains his composure. Come, no, sir. After all we've been through, you must know better than to cross me like this. You've seen what I've done to those who test my patience. Maybe once, before I cut you off from your precious candles. Did it hurt when I snuffed them out? Did you feel the loss of each one as their power fell away from you? How does it feel, Adramalik, to be as small and powerless as you make the rest of us feel? Shut up! Shut up! Such disrespect. I'd be a bit friendlier if I were you. But then again, I guess it doesn't really matter, does it? I'm still going to destroy you. Stay away from me. Stay where you are. You should have stayed away from me. Losa puts a hand to her weapon. She glows with cold fire. Her radiance fills the room. She looks to you. Ready, Chief? Chief, what are you... I have given you everything. The powers of the gods. Freedom from their relentless demands. Everything I had, I laid at your feet. And you react to me with this... This anger. This hatred. It defies logic. It defies explanation. There's nothing left I can do for you, Losa. Nothing but feel sorry for you. And that I certainly do. But make no mistake... This changes nothing. You are mine. Mine and mine alone. I don't need your consent. I only need your soul. I'm so very disappointed in you, Losa. Look what you've made me do. You bad, bad girl, Losa. I shall have to teach you a lesson.
I'm... I'm dead. Praise dear Sandilius. The long nightmare is over at last. The doctor's presence lingers no more. He has been snuffed out. Good. Many have sought to kill the doctor. None have succeeded. I am one of those hunters who became prey. He possessed me and forced me to do his bidding. The spirit smiles, then vanishes like a shadow chased away by the sun. What... what happened? The last thing I remember was hunting the, uh... The doctor! He did this to me! But he's no more! I can feel his presence has extinguished! I am free! I, uh... I was a demon hunter. I tried to hunt down the... thing that lived in the doctor's skin, but... I failed. He made me a slave, a vessel for one of his minions. The long nightmare is over. Now I can rest. Finally. Farewell. <laughs> 